Well, I for one am very excited about that Carly Fiorini. Oh, I think she'll be a wonderful president. I bet you like her, Sarah, because she's a woman. Yeah, you'll vote for her because she's a lady. And she knows lots about economics and making jobs. Oh my God, she knows nothing about the economy. She ran HP into bankruptcy. Ah! Sarah. Folks, welcome back to your favorite game show, Family Dinner Politics, Republican Primary Edition. It's the show that tests the patience of all today's millennials. You know the drill. For each minute that you can stand being at the table with your conservative relatives, you win $100. Please help me in welcoming our next contestant, ladies and gentlemen, Kaden! Oh, man, I'm excited to be here. I bet you are. Now, you go ahead and pass some of Grandma's favorite role. Absolutely. Oh, Caden, Jeff, how is it over at the UC Berkeley? Yeah, Caden, how's that uh, socialist commie excuse of a school? Botany degree. Well, it, it's... <laughs> It's going really good, actually. You know, there's actually the top tier botanists actually make a. You lot. should run and do law like Ted Cruz. Oh. He knows his stuff. Yes. Oh, and he is such a nice gentleman. Really, he is one of the good ones. You know? Ah, yes, I like him. I like him. Uh, yeah. I. He's. Uh, um. Hmm. Are you going to vote for him? Well, I. He's gonna stop those people from marrying. That's right, and, and, and he's going to keep our religious freedoms intact. Oh, he's also gonna stop the whole IRS thing. We won't have to pay taxes anymore. All we'll do is send an outpost. Shut up! Stop! That makes no sense! Stop! All right? If he's gonna shut the IRS down, then where are we gonna send the postcard? I mean, from friggin' Canada! How do we get along for president? And we'll make this video. Who? What about human rights, huh? What about. Stop! Stop! This is really getting the rant going. He almost broke Sarah's two minute record, but he's just gonna have to buy himself a nice pair of American made jeans with that hundred he made. So nice try, Jake. Ladies and gentlemen, now, if you will, help me welcome our next contestant, Wendy. I was an intern at Fox News. Let's do this. All right, well, you take a seat. You know, uh, Wendy voted for Obama. Yeah. Yeah. That Kenyan? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, Kenyan alert. <laughs> Actually, he's done some pretty great things for our country. Oh, yes, he has. Like incite a riot. Oh, yeah, he made the whole thing that much worse just by sending in that old attorney general. You know, that Donald Trump is right. We need to see his birth certificate. There's a birth certificate. <laughs> yes. Oh, now that Donald Trump will make a fine president. Oh, he's very knowledgeable. He's been all around the world. I don't even mind that he has an Italian wife. And he knows how to run a business. Knows how to run a business. Knows how to run a business. Yes, he, knows. he is a job creator. All right? And he has a foolproof way to fight ISIS, which he'll tell us once he's elected. <laughs> oh, come on! He inherited all his money! He never worked for any of it! He was almost bankrupt over and over again! He's never served public office! He is blatantly racist and unbelievably ignorant! You can't be serious! Republican Primary Edition. Ah! With this group of Republicans, we should have new episodes every week, especially more around the holidays. Good night, Millennials! Yeah. <laughs>